By now, most customers have received their monthly water bill reflecting the new SNWA infrastructure charge. The Water Authority Board of Directors considered three options before selecting the one that had the least impact on residential customers. The charge will help pay for critical water infrastructure as well as offset a significant decline in revenues. The infrastructure charge is based on meter size and adds approximately $5 to the average residential monthly bill. Businesses such as a small retail store can expect about a $36 monthly increase, while large commercial properties like resorts will see a monthly increase of about $2,200. If you're unsure of your meter size, there's an easy way to find it. Water utilities typically list your property's meter size on your monthly statement. Las Vegas Valley Water District customers can find it printed directly above the water usage chart, while North Las Vegas customers can find their meter size in the water usage review graph. Most residential customers have a 5 8 inch or 3 quarter inch meter, though larger homes may have a 1 to 2 inch meter. If you have trouble locating your meter size on your bill, and can't find it directly on your meter, contact your water provider. In response to the infrastructure charge, the Las Vegas Valley Water District is offering eligible property owners a one-time opportunity to downsize their property's water meter free of charge. To take advantage of this offer, a property owner must have a meter measuring two inches or less. Not all meters are eligible, including those used for fire protection. Residents with single-family homes 5,000 square feet or larger on properties more than 10,000 square feet may downsize to a minimum one-inch meter. While reducing your meter size may seem like a good option, there are a few impacts you should consider before requesting to downsize. Downsizing a meter could actually increase your water bill, particularly in the summer, because properties with larger meters have high water usage thresholds. Reducing meter size could also reduce water pressure and volume, and property owners will incur the costs of increasing a meter size later if they are not satisfied with the results. To learn more about downsizing your meter, or to complete an interest form, visit lvvwd.com. It's always a good idea to be familiar with your property's water meter. Understanding how it works and measures your water use can help you conserve and save money on your bill. Meters are also helpful in identifying leaks. Water meter technology can vary, but most operate in a similar manner and share three main components, a dial, a flow indicator, and an odometer. The dial, or sweep hand, rotates when water passes through the meter. One full rotation of the sweep hand equals 10 gallons on 5 8 to 1 inch meters. The flow indicator helps you determine whether you have a leak on site. This small triangle rotates with very little water movement. Any water moving through the meter is detected, so even a small leak will register. The odometer records total water use, similar to how the odometer in your car records miles driven. Read your odometer from left to right to get an accurate count of your water use. Water bills tend to be at their highest in the summer, when landscape watering increases. Continue to conserve by following these tips. Water your landscape only as needed. Just because you can water any day of the week in summer doesn't mean you'll need to. Monitor your landscape closely and adjust watering times or add days when necessary. Next, look for leaks both inside and outside the home. The average household wastes as much as 10,000 gallons of water each year due to running toilets, dripping faucets, and other leaks. View a free leak detection video at snwa.com. And finally, if you have a pool, cover it to reduce water evaporation. A pool cover can help save 10,000 to 15,000 gallons of water a year. Review your water bill monthly to track your water use. Your bill also shows your water consumption over a 12-month period to help you see long-term and seasonal trends. Water District customers will find charges to their account posted next to the usage chart. This also is where you'll see the new infrastructure charge as a line item. Customers of other water providers will see the charge on their bills as well, though it may be located in a slightly different area of their bill. 
For Water District customers, the new infrastructure charge will appear between the existing SNWA commodity charge and the reliability surcharge on your monthly statement. Funds from the SNWA commodity charge are used to improve water quality and enhance the reliability of the water system. While the reliability surcharge is based on the premise that customers have varying levels of need for water and should pay accordingly. The reliability surcharge is applied against the total water bill with a few line item exceptions and is a quarter percent for residential customers and 2.5 percent for others. If you still have questions about the new infrastructure charge or how to identify your meter size, visit snwa.com or contact your water provider directly.